Jundu minas sama the heavenly armies of Allah are these viruses and they're under Allah's command and might and majesty. Nothing escapes the command of Allah and alhamdulillah the people of Marifa and all their teachings that that might and that command is under the hand of Prophet it's under the hand and direction of Sayyidina Muhammad La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi aliyyul azeem. There is no power, there is no hawla and quwwah, there is no help and there is no power except from Allah's might and majesty. And that hand of power from Allah goes directly from La illallah to Muhammadun Rasulullah and keeps the ocean of tawheed. And that's the real understanding of tawheed. Not all the Wahhabi videos they don't understand what they're talking about. This what's coming from Allah is going to move in the air and every breath of every person will be breathing this. There is nobody escaping it. There's not a mask that can protect you, there's not a glove that can shield you from the might and majesty of Allah This is not about running in panic and losing one's faith. But we'll go into that inshaAllah tomorrow night. But what is important in our life is to be calm and peaceful. And much of this sickness is psychosomatic for people who are believers. When they believe in Allah one understanding from the panic so that when you see everybody going crazy is Allah describes these people who have no belief they want to live on this earth for a thousand years. Means they made this earth their Jannah, they made this earth their paradise and they have adorned it with all its lights and spectacles. And they came to fool mankind that this is paradise, invest in it, play in it and only think about it. And then something from Allah enters into their paradise and begin to obliterate it. We said before that when Allah's tawheed and his sifat al qahar begin to enter into dunya, anything standing will be brought down, naqashya, it will be collapsed. And all that will remain is the soul of insan. When his physicality goes, his soul will be in command and submitting to the will and might of Allah. So because they want to live a thousand years and they sold this like a time-sharing scam, they sold this as a paradise. So of course when sickness comes, disaster comes, everything that comes that's out of the control of mankind's hands it creates panic. And everything that they've planned for of their paradise and excitement now is questioned. Whatever they thought they invested in, so no don't put your money in, in masjids and in things, we're going to put our money into stocks because it will go forever and we will all become wealthy. Oh well what happened? <coughs> Little bit of shaking and sicknesses and there'll be no trade, borders will be closed. Everything that people think about markets and stock markets, all of that is now being wiped out, wiped out. Glad tidings for those who own no stocks. <laughs> Sorry for those who put their money in that. Means that when Allah says in Surah Al Tawbah that we bought from the believers, their dunya, there is an exchange that has to take place. We bought from them their dunya and we gave to them their akhirah in exchange. Not that they hold their dunya like a monkey holds their grapes, thinking, oh this dunya going to go forever, I'm going to just hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, Allah just said there had to be an exchange. You gave your dunya for your akhirah and we'll talk about that tomorrow night and Saturday night inshaAllah. <coughs> the realities of, of what is the sadaqah, what is the reality of charity and, and zakah and zaki and purification. For the believer they say, Ya Rabbi I'm dying anyways. You born into this world, your clock of death already began. 
it's just the story being told. The minute we got our birth, our life story of death already began. There's nothing to be fearful of. So the believer will be testing their faith and they're not panicking and they shouldn't panic, they shouldn't worry. What they should be considering if their account is good with Allah Not on how many masks and gloves and rub yourself with alcohol which is the opposite of our wudu and worrying about all these crazy ridiculous things. And the only thing they should be worried about, Ya Rabbi is my account good with you? You love me so much you're calling me back next week? Is my account okay with you? Are you going to be happy with me? Or are you going to call me back early and my account is not good with you? Then they have a fear because they know, oh these things that I thought maybe I would go to hajj and make it to go away, no it doesn't go away. And they try to fix their hisab with Allah But unbeliever their party is about to end. They're thinking this was a thousand year program and they see it collapsing and shattering and they put masks and gloves and running around. So we're not the people to panic and those whom have belief highly recommended not to panic. You tie your camel, take your precautions, do what's necessary to keep yourself in a state of wudu, to keep yourself in everything that Sayyidina Muhammad has given to us was all foretold by these. The sunnah of Prophet is not only for our amazing good looks, you know those handsome beard like all the hockey players now have and the hats and the, the clothes and the ring and everything that Sayyidina Muhammad brought to us was an immense power and protection. It was the honourable dress of Allah soldiers of paradise. Their turban is a protection, their hijab is a protection, is a seal for their energy. Sayyidina Muhammad brought to us wudu. Not that you keep yourself outside of wudu all day long except for your salah, your shield is down, you will be attacked. But they were trained, no, no, they keep their wudu at all times. They don't break the wudu unless they go back and wash and make sure that they're again in their wudu and pray two rakat salatul wudu. They keep the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad as their guard. As soon as they pray their two rakat salatul wudu, it's a shield for the believer, a shield of energy that is all around them by the might and majesty of Allah And whatever sickness comes to them like a small flu or cold. If Allah calling them back then alhamdulillah it's their time to meet their Lord and sit at the table of Sayyidina Muhammad Better than the abode of this garbage here. But is our hisab good? So not to fear, not to have panic. To tie the camel, to do what's necessary, to keep ourselves clean, to keep the way of the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad should be an immense protection. And those whom been following they know that these websites are filled with information. Some people are used to thinking that they're dealing with their mom and their mom is going to spoon feed them everything. You don't come to dinner on time, she come to your room, she give you a bite, eat this, eat this. The shaykh is not going to do that and spoon feed you. But they gave the resources available. If you go to the website and you look at Nur Muhammad website, Go into the meditation section and see the energy section. There are their du'as for protection, du'as for energy, du'as to safeguard. All those du'as are there. Those tools were given so that a day would come and you would have been studying these things and had them all down in your notes and books. Now with the phone we have a note section and we spin through and we can immediately go to those du'as. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim bi dhalik al-taqdeer al-Aziz al-Aleem. Mawlana gave today again from Surah Al-Yaseen. It's a might and majesty of protection and there's a whole list of all those du'as. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I can't say it out loud. It's on these lists. There's 
five or six very powerful du'as. Then from the teaching istighfars, alif lam mim, Allahu la ilaha illahu al hayyu al qayyum wa tubu ilayk, inna huwa tawabur raheem. They even have the secrets of istighfar and the realities of those tawbah in which to make your istighfar, make your du'as, keep yourself in wudu so that you have a shield of protection. And there's a section on the energy on when you're making wudu what's happening. Don't think you rub alcohol and something went away, this is a soldier of Allah and he doesn't stop at the gate think, oh look they put alcohol, I'm running. It come from the eyes, come from the nose, come from the skin, it's coming from everywhere. So the guy who's sitting and breathing and breathing his own breath and <coughs> whatever poison he had he's already breathing it back in. But our shifa, our healing, we're in these du'as, we're in the zikr of Allah in the durud al-sharif of Sayyidina Muhammad in the istighfar and the realities of their istighfar, what they carried of a secret. So when you read the secret you understand what you were asking and how you were asking so that Allah would wash and purify, wash and purify. So all those tools are there, it's a matter of now are you using them. They're on the website, Mahdi made it easier, put it on an app. And from the app it can go straight into those articles and into those understandings. So it's the meditation section and it was all energy section, the du'as for the energy, how to protect the realities of istighfar, the realities of wudu. We're talking today that the wudu on the section and the realities of energy. That when you're washing and you don't understand like, okay why, why not alcohol is that your name, your hands is 81 and 18 has 99 names of Allah Allah has stamped upon your hand your reality. Allah has stamped upon your soul your reality. When He asked Sayyidina Muhammad to teach them about wudu there was an immense reality. That as soon as the believer is moving their hands these 99 names of Allah are being ignited upon them. So the believer has a power in their hands. Those whom been granted to heal they understood that power and they use that reality for healing. Those who don't understand it doesn't matter but these 99 names are being ignited when you're washing under water and the water is sealing. Allah just said, my throne is upon the mai, my throne is upon the water. What type of izza and might Allah is putting upon that mai when the believer is washing with belief and understanding and then rubbing the hand means he's igniting all that energy. He's washing and putting that energy upon his face, he's washing and putting the energy upon his hand. And they found now that when somebody's washing actually there's a transmission of disease through this part of the arm. But your wudu is covering that and washing that. Transmission of the disease and sickness through your nose, through your eyes, through your ears and through your mouth. So what Allah wants in the last days before the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi is making everybody to be Muslim because they don't know how to wash. So when you watch them telling you on TV how to safeguard yourself, hey it's ajeeb, it's like a wudu class. <laughs> they didn't know how to wash them, so they don't even know how to wash their bottom, more or less wash their face and their mouth. So Allah is just, He loves His creation. He says, oh what's coming you can't imagine but I'll give you an opportunity to enter into Islam. And they're doing it, they're following the sunnah, they're washing, they're learning how to wash. Had we only followed what Prophet brought for us that was our safeguard and our energy. You put that into the nose to wash it out, put it into your mouth to wash out and whatever's left to go down and to be removed from the waste washing of the ears and washing of the face. What type of sicknesses are, are transmitted from behind the ear modern medicine understood and your wudu is, is covering that. And then wiping of the hair, wiping the hand and the feet, what type of difficulties. We are people who don't bring our shoes into the home unless you're copying these people and you do that. And every waste and poo poo and pee pee from your bathrooms and public facilities are entering into your home. We keep our shoes at the door where they belong. All that Prophet brought for us was a protection, see they're at the door now. 
We'll leave it with that inshaAllah we'll do the zikr and continue after. So stay tuned inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.